Yo, what's going on guys, Shooting Run here, and today we have another uh, Dust 514 gun review, or gun guide, and today we're going to be uh, reviewing and uh, giving some tips about the Tier 3 class of the Assault Rifles. So the Tier 3 class um, of Assault Rifles that you can buy with ISK is the GEC 38 Assault Rifle, and this is the gun that a lot of people have uh, most likely seen and most likely been raging about. Um... For various different reasons. Uh, so right here, we're just buying it. Um, I'm showing you guys how to buy it. You unlock the skill by going to the marketplace, and then you go to Assault Rifle Operation Level 3. Unlock it. I believe it's like uh, 87,000 uh, skill points, which is a lot for um, an Assault Rifle class. So, you know, you might want to save up. And right here, we're just kind of equipping it, um, showing you how much uh, uh, CPU and PG it takes. Um, it actually takes quite a lot for this Assault Rifle. So that's just how you, that's just the fitting of it. And now we're going to go into the uh, recoil and rate of fire and, you know, the reload speeds and stuff like that. So as you see here, it comes with a clip size of 60 rounds and it comes with a maximum amu amu ammunition of 300 rounds. So that's a pretty big clip considering that the militia assault rifle only has uh, 48 rounds, which is the starting assault rifle that you get. And the breach rifle, which is the second uh, automatic assault rifle that you, keep, that you can get, which is the tier 2, comes with uh, 36. So, yeah, they all come with a maximum ammun ammunition of 300, so that's pretty much standard. Um, and the reload speed on this gun is actually faster. Uh, I have the the perk that increases the reload speed. Um, I'm, I'm not sure by how much. I believe it's 5% it increases my reload speed. But yeah, I had that perk. So the reload speed for the GEC 38 is actually 3 seconds, while the Militia is uh, 3.5 seconds. So it it doesn't seem like a lot, but it really is a big difference um, in reload time. So, you know, that's, that's one good thing about this gun. Another good thing about this gun is that the damage on it is 32.5 health points. So... Um, compared to the Militia Assault Rifle, that's, uh, 1.5 health points, uh, higher. Which isn't really a lot, considering that this is a Tier 3. But what it really makes up for is the clip size you get, and then the accuracy rating and the reload speed. Because the accuracy rating for this gun is, uh, 56.6, while the accuracy for the Militia gun is 56. So it's 0.6, but that, that makes a huge difference. Um, even though it may be 0.6, it makes a huge difference reducing the recoil and the reload speed, like I said again, makes a huge difference, especially when you're in the heat of battle. And the extra clip size, the exact same thing when you're in the heat of battle. The other enemy using the Militia Assault Rifle or the Breach Gun will still be reloading while you can still shoot off an extra 12 rounds into him. So I mean, that's really cool about this gun. The bad thing about this gun is that the CPU is actually uh, 47, while the Militia is 30, and the PG is 6, while the Militia is 5. Um, and I also have the Breach Rifle specs right here. The damage on the Breach Rifle is 41.8, so the Breach Rifle is actually stronger than the GEC and the Militia Assault Rifle. Um, as you saw in my previous video, if you guys haven't seen that, I'll uh, put an annotation in this video, if you guys haven't seen the Assault Rifle Tier 2. So... The breach rifle is actually stronger than the GEC, and the rate of fire, the um, thing that the rate of fire, well, the reason why the breach rifle is so powerful is because the rate of fire is really low. It's only at 400 RPM, while the other two guns are at 750. The accuracy is a lot higher. It's 57.3, so this gun is extremely accurate, the breach rifle, while its clip reduces um, to 36. And the reload speed is the same exact thing as the GEC. So... Comparing this this gun, the GEC, to the Militia and the Breach Rifle, it's, it's, in my mind, it's a lot better than the Militia because it's got a lot larger clip and the accuracy is a lot better and the damage is um, a little bit better and in the end, it makes a huge difference and also the reload speed is a lot uh, faster. While the CPU is a lot higher, that's a bummer about this gun is because you can't, you would have to buy a whole new suit, which costs a lot of skill points, so you'd have to rack up a lot of skill points. And, you know, you would just have to save up your skill points for a new suit, too. Which is kind of a pain, while the Militia Assault Rifle, um, you could equip grenades, and you could equip the stamina, or whatever attrib second attributes you want. So, you know, that's kind of a thing that you have to uh, keep in mind while, if you're going to purchase the GEC 38. 
if you guys don't have enough skill points to the, purchase the GEC 38, I would highly recommend getting the Breach Assault Rifle because it's, I believe it's just as good as the GEC, if not better, depending on how you use it and where you use it. So I found that the GEC is like more of a medium ranged gun. So, you know, medium to medium close. So use that gun in those kind of areas. It does have a nice long range. So if you ever get into those long battles, you can uh, take them out. So that's basically my gun review slash guide on the tier 3 assault rifles, which is only one, the GEC 38. So there's two other assault rifles you can get, and that's uh, with AUR. And I'll be doing a gun guide with that. Once I finish through all these assault rifles, I'll purchase some AUR, and I'll do a review on all the guns that you can purchase with AUR. So thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see some more Dust514 videos, be sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching. Peace off.